So let's do one more of these. Okay. Um, again, find the unknowns in the graph below. So the unknowns being y, x, and z. Okay. So again, we see here the the sketch or the diagram is not exactly in the way that I'm used to. So why not just make it easier for myself and draw it in a way that I'm used to. So as best I can and don't worry about scale. Okay, it's simply something to help you. So there's my 90 degree angle. Opposite the 90 are oh, this time I don't have my hypotenuse. So well, that one is Y. Okay. Uh, then there's my known angle, so this is 45 degrees, I'll make that my observed angle. Opposite the observed angle, what do I have? Well, let's see, opposite the observed angle, I've got Z, okay, and then adjacent to the observed angle, that's adjacent, there we go, that one, not this one, because that one is the hypotenuse, the other one, okay, that side length is 12. So this time we're given the adjacent side. Okay, and then the only other thing that we don't know is the angle on that side, the angle X. Okay, now remember we called this the co-angle and what we looked at in the previous video is that the co-angle is always equal to 90 degrees minus theta. In other words, this is called theta. So we can immediately go and work out X. X is equal to 90 degrees minus 45 degrees is equal to 45 degrees. Okay, so we have x immediately. Now, if x is 45 and I get 12, then z is also going to be 12 because the side lengths opposite equal angles in a triangle are the same. So z is supposed to be 12 units long. Okay. But let's not use that. Let's see if we, with trig, can find the same answer. So Z is opposite, and we have the adjacent. So opposite and adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. Which ratio is that? Well, that is tan. Tan of theta is opposite over adjacent. So I'm trying to find opposite, so I multiply with A on both sides. Okay, to so cancel on this side so that I have opposite is equal to adjacent times tan theta. Okay? Or my ratio triangle would look like this, where I've got tan theta is opposite over adjacent. Since I want opposite, I close it with my hand, and I see I must take adjacent and I must multiply tan theta, and that's what I have here. So that's just another way of of finding the formula for the opposite very quickly. Okay, we have the adjacent side length is 12 and then we have tan of 45 degrees. Okay, now this is where it gets interesting and uh, you might recall from previous video we saw that tan of 45 is equal to 1. Let's have a look. So we have 12 times 45 inside tan. Okay, and there you can see 10 of 45 is equal to 1, so that if I multiply it with 12, I get 12. And that's exactly what I thought initially it should be. Okay, so that one was actually quite easy. Now, how about the last one, y? Okay, so again, I can do y with Pythagoras. Okay, since the hypotenuse squared is equal to the adjacent squared plus the opposite squared, the adjacent is equal to 12 squared plus opposite is equal to 12 squared and the hypotenuse is equal to y squared. That's what I'm trying to find. Okay, so if I just want y, I just take the square root on both sides. So 12 squared and 12 squared is equal to 144 plus 144 which gives me the square root of 288 and that is 288 square root of that 16.97 so that side length is roughly 16,97 and that's it